turn to a different economic topic, and that's TPP. Uh, obviously, a lot of concern about the pressure and a lot of hope that that does put pressure on China uh, and force their hand. But, but what is your response to those who, especially economists, who say it may not have been worth the political fight for the president as far as results here at home? We're talking about 40% of the world's population <clears throat> and where most of the growth is coming from Asia. Who's going to set the rules? Are we going to set the rules or China? Now, listen, looking back at TPP, there's a piece here or there that I'm sure everybody would say, you know, after the deal, I'd like to see an improvement. But net net, I still think it's in America's best interest to pass TPP. I think it'll create jobs. I think it will expand our influence in, in that terribly important area, Asia. And frankly, it is the one area where there's still bipartisan consensus and the vast majority of mainstream economists from left to right say it's in our country's best interest. Senator John Heilman here. I want to ask you a follow-up yeah. question about that. Um, do you find it at all strange or inconsistent that Secretary Clinton, uh, who was a big booster of TPP while she was Secretary of State, has now come out against it? Listen, I understand there's a lot of folks on the Democratic side who look back and say at NAFTA 20 years ago, oh my gosh, there were some downturn. And there were job losses. I think about the job losses, particularly in furniture and, uh, and other areas, manufacturing areas in my state. But net-net, when you're looking now at whether we're going to have a trade policy that is basically set up Senator. and rules of the road that America put together with TPP, I'll go with it. Secretary yeah. Clinton's making her own decisions. I'm telling you where I'm at. Again, I'm just asking you whether you think there's anything inconsistent about Senator Clinton's switch on this position. I think long-term expanded trade for our country is in our country's best interest, it, but we've got to make sure there's a level playing field. And I think what the administration has put together is a pretty darn good deal. Senator, should Joe Biden jump into the